Hey everyone, Dave K here, and today with Mike, we are staying in the Polynesian. Woo. Super exciting. Mike, are you excited for this one? Beyond excited. Super happy about this. Yeah, really, really looking forward to it. Lots of food to try, lots of views to enjoy. Looking forward to seeing it all. Let's do it. Just walked in from past those bushes there is where the main building is and into our building here, the Samoa building, staying in, look at this room, 1601 right here. Literally the first room you see. Wow, super, super exciting. Let's see how it looks. Taking a closer look at the inside of our stateroom here, here's that front entrance, that door right there. Immediately on the inside, you'll see we've got all the action down that way. There's Mike putting on his shoes over there. We got a couple of beds down that way, but first, Let's take a look at this bathroom. You can see really nice texture to that back wall with kind of those, I think they're turtles, and they're turtles going in each direction maybe, or maybe it's some other kind of animal there, but really, really nice bathroom. A lot of space in this one. You'll see lots of mirrors there. It goes all the way across, I like it. And it wraps around to the shower behind you here. So really, really good size bathroom. You can see plenty of space in here. So there's definitely plenty of space in this bathroom. Lots of space in the bathroom. Nice to have a larger bathroom. Really large mirror there in case you're trying to put on makeup or something along those lines. Really interesting to see those glowing sort of lights within the mirror as well. That's not something that I see a whole lot, but again, it's a really nicely designed bathroom as well. And they've got two sinks there as well. So you can see, again, it's really well built. Now taking a look at these closets here. You can see these closets just inside the entrance. Nice design to them, that kind of textured glass, if you will. And you've got the hangers and you've got space for that ironing board, if you will. And you've got like a coffee chest type area right here. Little mini fridge down there, which I have to make sure that we put anything cold that we get in there. And there's also this fridge right here, not a fridge right here, but you've got another cabinet right here with the similar stuff. You've got the lock and you've got the ironing board, not the ironing board, but you've got the iron itself as well. Continuing on around the room, you can see plenty of space. We've got these lamps set up here, all kinds of lighting. There's Mike looking out at that beautiful view out there. Looking forward to showing you that one. And you've got the beds right here, two beds, plenty of room here, as well as this beautiful poster on the wall. Take a look at this poster here. Beautifully designed artwork. I'm not sure if all the rooms have this particular piece, but this one does. It's kind of, uh, it's interesting because it's kind of like uh, what would you call it? It protrudes a little bit in the little in the middle, so it's not really flat, but it's kind of bubbled in the middle, if you will. Really, really interesting design to that one, and it is a beautiful piece of artwork. Look at those headboards on these beds. Really, really nice, kind of Hawaiian tiki feel to them, if you will. Got to appreciate that kind of wooden look to it, and the nice lights as well. The headboard lights, if you will, are very nicely designed. Continuing across the room, you'll see we've got the couch here. Nice couch, again, goes with that theme. And this desk here, really, really nice desk with that tiki lamp as well. Goes with those green and brown kind of natural island themes here and making our way outside. Just inside here as well, you can see we've got our chairs, we've got that table out there, and we've got our garden view. So we're looking at some of the bushes in the backyard, if you will. You can see some of that water play areas in the distance, as well as I think that's the contemporary, maybe it's the Grand Floridian actually, Grand Floridian way back there. So great views out the window here as well. Nice, we can kind of enjoy these and sit out on the balcony if we'd like. We are currently waiting for a reservation at Trader Sam's, but take a look at some of these snacks while we're here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Chocolate covered bacon, strawberry, all kinds of stuff. The key lime pie and s'mores down there. Wow, so amazing. And down there you've got the sushi as well as some of that chocolate covered bacon. But oh my gosh, this all looks so, so good. Look at that Oreo cookie strawberry. Oh my gosh, you, this is a ridiculous. This is super, super tempting. All of it looks fantastic. Mike, which of these items looks the best to you? Seasonal bacon or dark salted bacon? Chili. Yeah. I, mean, I want to try the chili too, though. That's the thing. And part of me wants to try it now. Another part of me thinks it's better like after I have other food. Yeah. It's like chocolate, but it all looks amazing. That's so true. It looks like pineapple on that bacon over yeah. there. That looks really good to me. And this one right here, I don't know if you've seen this one, is Oreo cookie or the caramelized nut strawberries. 
Those look fantastic as well. You, I don't think you can lose here, but we'll have to try it one of these days, if not today. Here at the Tambu Lounge, we're gonna grab ourselves some pot stickers and chicken wings that they have from Ohana. So this is gonna get our first snack here, at least a snack here for the night. Looking forward to having all kinds of food here tonight. It's a nice spot here. We've got kind of by the windows here. Great view and great to be able to sit back and relax and enjoy the Polynesian vibes. Here we are at the Tambu Lounge. Look at the chicken wings here and the pot stickers, both from that Ohana meal. Looking forward to trying them both out here. This is what they look like as items at the Tambu Lounge. Looking forward to giving them a shot. Delicious flavors at the Tambu Lounge. I loved both of those two options, the chicken wings and the pot stickers there. I feel like they were even better than I remember at Ohana, which is pretty awesome. Overall, really fantastic food, fantastic experience, and kind of more filling than I was expecting. Mike, what did you think? I really enjoyed it. Again, more fun than I was expecting, too. It was surprising. Yeah, really, really good stuff. Now heading to Trader Sam's, is it? Yeah. Yeah, Trader Sam's, checking that one out, and looking forward to seeing what the vibe in there is like. I'm not sure how the lighting will be if I can film, but we shall see. Here in Trader Sam's Grog Grotto here. Whoa, looks like such a fun time. Look at all this theming all around this lounge. Really, really nice spot. Looking forward to seeing, Mike said there's some special effects when certain drinks are ordered, so we'll see what that's all about. Check out this flatbread here. Looks really, really good. Not sure if this is the one we've had before or not. It looked different on the menu, but looks kind of similar here. So we'll see how it tastes. Just left Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. Mike, what did you think of our experience? I really liked it. I think it's more about the feel than the food. Uh, I don't drink alcohol, so for me, it's mostly about that feel, and I really did enjoy it. That's fair. Yeah, I like a lot of the effects that happened in there. Those were really cool. That flatbread was okay. It's not my number one, but that peanut sauce was very interesting. Maybe better than the last flatbread we had, but uh, you know, I wouldn't go out of my way for it. It was, it was okay. Not bad. Would I get it again? Eh, maybe. We'll see. And we decided to get the bacon here. Check that out for dessert, if you will. We've got that seasonal bacon, looks like pineapple, and the dark chocolate bacon, both of which look really, really good. Just leaving Kona Island after eating those pieces of chocolate bacon, and let me tell you, I would not get those again. For me, I would give that first piece of chocolate bacon maybe a two, and the second one maybe a five, the pineapple one. It just kind of went okay, the second one, but really not one of my favorite items. It's one of the last items I would see myself getting again. Now, a lot of people may like those flavors, and I'm not saying that, you know, it's a bad thing to like those flavors, but for me, that's really not my sort of thing. So just, you know, letting you know, if you're not sure about it, it sounds good, you may not love the chocolate covered bacon idea, especially that just classic chocolate covered bacon one. That being said, there are so many great foods. We had some great food at Trader Sam's, we had some great food from the Tambu Lounge, and we're looking forward to some more great snacks coming up. And we are here at Pineapple Lanai getting some Dole Whip. Oh my gosh, Dole Whip? It's gonna be really, really tasty, I'm sure, but some sugary treats here at our Polynesian stay for sure. Not the Pineapple Dole Whips here. Ah. What? Pineapple Dole Whips! Always super delicious, looking forward to giving them a try. It's been a while since I've had one, so definitely looking forward to it. Always delicious, those Dole Whips, but they're always gone too quickly. Really, really good flavors to that one. I liked it with the vanilla ice cream. One of my favorite ways to have the Dole Whip is I mix it together. So I take the ice cream and I put, mix it with the juice so it kind of makes like a thick, almost like a milkshake, you know, it's kind of like a milkshake. And, you know, again, as perfectly as I can blend it, I like that kind of mixed flavor, which is kind of why I like that vanilla ice cream in there as well. I think I'm gonna try it as a swirl next time and see how that goes. But I, again, I like that the vanilla adds kind of that thicker consistency to it. Really makes it a nice kind of milkshake. I'm a big fan, you know, you gotta be a big fan of the Dole Whip. Mike, what'd you think? I love it, always do, it tastes especially good at Pineapple Lanai. Oh yeah, right there with you. Another day here at the Polynesian, and today we're off to grab some breakfast, maybe at Kona Cafe, see what our options are. Looking forward to it. It was a bit of a wait upstairs at Kona, and so down here at Captain Cook's, we have the Tonga Toast for breakfast. This one looks especially good. It's got a great cinnamon sugar smell to it. Looking forward to giving it a shot. 
And now we are heading to the NBA experience for Mike's second ever media event. Thanks to Disney for having us. Thanks to Mike for bringing me along. Really, really excited for this one. We'll see how it is on the inside. Mike, are you excited for it? So excited. Oh yeah, we've heard a lot of things about this one. Looking forward to giving it a shot here firsthand. Now entering the NBA experience, you can see this sort of grand hall here. Really, really nice setup to it. Nice design, you know, you can see all these players kind of have posters and different TV screens with animations over there. First part of the process here is we're customizing our NBA experience here. So we're going to enter our age here and we're going to personalize our NBA experience. Choosing our favorite team here, choosing my super experienced expert level skill level here. You can see I've selected super experienced best ever juggling in nets, netting every round basketball player right there and choosing our nickname. Starting off with combine here, we are measuring our wingspan, we're measuring our vertical leap here, and we are shooting. Let's see how we do. Oh! Wow. 14. What does check mean for shooting? You did it. I did it. Something tells me I'm not getting drafted. Uh. In the players room here and taking a closer look at these interactive screens. So you can take a look at different teams here. Let's click one. I'm gonna choose your player here. So let's go Draymond Green. This one neighborhood, maybe Clay next time. So I guess this shows you some scenes. That's cool, media as well as stats. Oh. Very cool. So points, rebounds, assists, blocks. It shows you sort of his zone. Look at that shot distribution down there. You've got the player impact estimate, 138th in the NBA. That's pretty cool. Nice to see a uh, oh, career. You can change from regular season to career as well. So up on the second floor here in the NBA experience, there's some really cool stuff up here. I really want to try this dunk. We heard about dunk where you get all kinds of cool footage. Look at those games over there. I like how they have the games integrated as well. You got some basketball video games. Always love the video games. You got the screens up here and shoot over there. So all kinds of cool stuff to do up here on the second level as well. Look at this slow shot action here. You can see kind of how that works. Really, really cool. You gotta pull that forward. One, here we go. Oh, that was way too low. Oh. 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 Oh, you get that one. Almost. Right click. Whoa, I'm in. Whoa! Oh. That's Forty seconds. Oops. Try to make that shot in there. How far am I allowed to shoot from here? Get right up in there? Oh my gosh, Mike's ahead of me. I can't get him. At a total score of 48, it was a close race. One point ahead of Mike here. This is a fun one. I like it. There here we go. go. Oh, three oh. pointers. Here we go. Oh. Woo. There we go. Too. Oh god. Almost got it. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god. I got, I got crushed. Got 12. And Corey got 24. Got crushed. That was that was a good one. Ready for the two pointer? Let's see how we do on the two pointer. See if we can beat our three pointer. Gotta be honest. I'm a what kind of score Mike gets here? Go Mike go. 38 to 30 after that two-handed game for the second attempt. I got a little bit more practice in there, but it was a good game overall. What do you think, Mike? Awesome. Really, really fun, both of them. I like the yeah. shooting game. Check out a bit of this video game, NBA 2K19 here, I believe. Maybe we'll see if we can give it a shot ourselves here as well. Uh, oh, oh, no! Ooh. Oh! Michael. Dunk it. Oh! Oh, oh. Go for it. Oh, oh, no. Here we go. Whoa! Right in there. That's what I'm talking about. You lost it. Oh! oh. Nothing. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. Whoa! Oh. And Michael oh. 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 Show you a swish. Oh, that was perfect. Oh! Clearly the master of the video game. Uh, that, that was fun. Definitely gotta enjoy the video game. Oh, sure. Three, four, five. Alright? Okay. I got two rebounds, so you just worry about getting the next spot, alright? Gotcha. Thank 
you. Not a bad run, I will take it. Two points, not bad. Now heading in dunk here. Check it out. All kinds of great decals on the walls here and we're gonna see how this one goes. Here we go, signing in to dunk here. Gotta grab a ball as well. Whoa! Whoa! Doesn't really seem that high at 17, you know? Whoa! I think dunk is the most strenuous one here. It's the most exercise involved, but it is a lot of fun as well, and I'm really excited to see those photos. And time to get pictures with the commissioner here for the draft. You can see they got the hat set up here. He's got the basketball, kind of cool screens playing over there. This is that draft area right next to the dribble and trivia up there. Let's get our pictures. Three, we ready with the first one. Three, two, one. Getting a look at some of the trivia here. You can see, you kind of fill out the survey there. I'll show you green if you're correct. You're gonna click anywhere, A through D there if you will. The true false looks like B and C are the options. Got ourselves set up for trivia here. Station number 20. Let's see those questions. Uh, did better than I expected. Dribble was pretty fun as well. I liked the opportunity to kind of learn some of those basic dribbles. Glad I had to go through that and, and get an idea of how I did. I feel like overall it was better than I was expecting to do, so that was nice as well. Time for the replay center. Here we go. Trying to pull my chair back a bit here. And we'll be able to watch the action from here. To indicate you agree with the decision on the court. Overturn to change it. Thanks for participating in that was fun. I feel like that was not that hard. I feel like we got them all down pretty well. So Played a little bit more of the three-pointers there. That was a lot of fun as well. Continue to get practice and build up towards that high score. I like that, kind of going yeah. for the high score there. They're both a lot of fun. And I'm looking for somewhere to get water. I haven't seen any water upstairs. So that's something to keep in mind. We'll have to see if there's maybe water fountains down here or something along those lines. But overall, it's a lot of fun. Overall, a fun experience here at the NBA Experience. A lot of cool stuff. I wasn't really sure how it was going to be when we got to actually do it, but I feel like there were a lot of fun things, you know? Some of my favorites for me were the slingshot, the two-pointer, and the three-pointers. A lot of them were good. Mike, what were your favorites? I really like the dunk. That is a lot of exertion, but you really do feel like you're up there on the basket, even though it's a little bit lower for us to dunk, which is yeah. awesome. I did like the slingshot, too. Even though I didn't make a single shot, it was fun. It's true. It was a lot of fun. I'm really excited for those dunk photos, too. Yes. The photos that come with that, those are going to be great. Mike have noticed the personalized swag here in the NBA experience, and he's right. Really, really cool stuff. Great time overall. Glad we had the chance to come. Thanks to Disney. Thanks to Mike. A look at some of this stuff. Really cool. I like these bottles quite a bit. Magic bands customized here with different teams. Look at Mickey on there. Really, really cool stuff. So definitely check it out if you're looking for some custom NBA experience swag. I feel like this is pretty cool to see the logos changing over the years. Really interesting for the Celtics here as well as for the Rockets. Again, you can see the evolution of their logos on those little banners here. You also have these jerseys, all kinds of commemorative stuff. Look at that basketball in there. And I wanted to also check out, look at how the Warriors logo has changed over time. Really, really interesting. I like that second to most recent one, if you will. That's really, really cool. You can see the city. They had the city as their logo for a while as well. And you can see the Lakers. Look at that. A bunch of great teams here and how their logos have changed over the years. I feel like this is really cool stuff to see. You know, if you like, again, if you like basketball and basketball history, this may be a cool place to check out. Looking at our sushi here at Splitsville, we have the Ninja Roll. Look at that Ninja Roll over there. Right here is the Crouching Tiger. And the last but not least is a Volcano Roll. All of them look fantastic. Fantastic experience here at Splitsville. Really, really great sushi overall. My favorite was that Ninja Roll. They were all great rolls, but Ninja was the clear winner for me. Volcano, I don't really like cream cheese in my sushi, so next time I think I skip that one. But all of them were great. Always a great time at Splitsville. And we have changed for the pool ready to check out Polynesian Pool. Now I forgot to bring the stand on which I hold my GoPro, so we'll see how I do hand holding it here. But looking forward to checking out all the pool here at the Poly. 
Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Entering pool here. A little chilly. A little chilly out here. Oh my gosh. Oh. No. Oh. I'm on my tippy toes. I'm on my tippy toes. Oh. Too cold. It's too cold. No. And my waterproof cell phone case has still been working perfectly fine for me. Really been working well, so that's nice. The fourth water adventure so far. Keeping track. Nice to have it. Here we go into the water pressure. Good guys. I put the phone wholly in and it's fine. And it's fine, yes. Here we go. No glasses are coming off. The glasses challenge commence. Challenge. Ready for me? Ready for you. you hold that? Yeah. Let me show you how the glasses challenge is truly done. Okay. Let's show Mike how to do the glasses challenge. Glasses challenge. Right here. Glasses challenge. This is how we do it. Ready? are looking for a waterproof phone case I will link the description to the waterproof phone case in the description below you'll find actually I've been putting the description for a lot of my tech products in the recent videos you'll see them in the description so I've got my tripod on there microphone on there but this phone case is, is a good one if you're looking for one to use for your iPhone 6s plus here it's been working really really well for me here he goes Mike 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 see you there Right, a little bit painful on the back on that one, but uh, kind of kind of front action packed. You can kind of slow yourself down by kind of sitting up, but don't sit up too much. Be careful. And over that way is that pool area we were in earlier. You can see our Samoa building here, so it's kind of down a ways from where we are now. That pool. You can see we're in a whole nother pool area over here. Not sure what this pool area is called, but it's a lot more quiet over here. It's open until 11 p.m. it seems. You can see Mike's getting comfortable in there. So really, really nice one that I'm just finding over here. If you're staying at the Polynesian, definitely worth checking out this other pool area here too. And Mike's telling me that there's a hot tub as well somewhere. So we gotta try that hot tub a bit later as well. Stepping into this pool here, and it seems like it's actually warmer than the other pool as well. I'm not sure it's because I've already been in the colder pool, but it's nice. Again, it's a lot quieter, which I can enjoy and appreciate. And it feels warmer, I'm not sure. And, you know, it, it's nice to be out here right now. It's, again, just barely raining, but uh, not significant as all. So we're still again, in here, able to enjoy the pool. And it's pretty empty for us right now as well. So we can definitely appreciate that as well. One design idea I'd love to see changed for this pool is maybe some chair area or some seating in the middle here. I was going towards the edge to hopefully sit down, but it's a lot more shallow over there. So it'd be nice to have like seating kind of deep in the water here where the water is fairly warm, but maybe we'll see something like that in the hot tub, which I'm really excited for as well. Overall thoughts, I do like this pool, I think even more than the other pool, because it's a little bit less crowded here today. Also, I feel like it's salt water as opposed to chlorine, which I like. And then also, it's, uh, I want to say it's warmer, so that, that helps as well. Lots of nice attributes to this pool here as well. Up on our right from the main pool here is the piece de resistance to any pool. It's the hot tub. All right, look at this view here too. Beautiful sort of overlook view. Definitely a little bit crowded, but it's nice to see that it's here. Awesome spot here in the hot tub. Glad we get the chance to kind of kick back here and enjoy these sights. And look at these sights right here. Absolutely beautiful views from the hot tub. Got to appreciate that component of it as well. Here at the marshmallow cooking, you've got the fire here in front of us. This is not really how I expected my marshmallow to look here, but uh, you know, it, it, it'll do the job here. I'm, I'm gonna eat it and see how it tastes. A little bit burnt over there, but it uh, could be worse. So I'm two for two for burning my marshmallow here, but the last one was pretty tasty, so what are you gonna do? Not bad.
uh, fun torch lighting, and now we are off to change back into dry clothes. You know we got Ohana coming up later tonight, so that'll be awesome as well. Really looking forward to all of the adventures to come. Let's do it. And we're all changed for Ohana here tonight. Looking forward to the delicious festivities. Mike, what are you most excited for here? Uh, probably that shrimp. I love the shrimp. Shrimp is good. I feel like that's probably going to be a great one. The meats in general, but also those noodles. Yes. I haven't had those honey noodles in a while. Those and are delicious. Save them for dessert. Oh, I will. And we are here at Ohana. Check out this amazing window view here on our right. And it's really exciting, really excited for this one. Delicious food, you know we're gonna love it. Only two tables away here from that fireworks view. So it's gonna be a fantastic evening. Coconut bread here, even better than I remember last time. Overall, fantastic way to start the meal. Really looking forward to all of the deliciousness ahead here. Gotta try that butter as well. Getting started off here with this salad. Looking forward to that salad. And we've got our bread that we already had some bites of, if you will, with that delicious butter over there. You see they also brought us some sweet and sour and some peanut sauce. So all the flavors here, showcasing those here for you. Looking forward to tasting them as well. And we're two for two here with the salad being better than I remember as well. I'm wondering if maybe next time I'll ask for that vinaigrette on the side, just because I like I'm not a huge vinegar person, but overall it is delicious. And I'm definitely gonna have another scoop here, if you will. So looking forward to trying even more of that. There you go, great salad options here too. And look at the damage we did to this salad bowl. It was really, really good today. I feel like it was amazing. Even with all that dressing in there, we both absolutely loved it. So it was definitely a winner here today. And we got our tray of appetizers here. Look at those from the vegetables to those pot stickers we love, those honey noodles. Really excited for those. And we also got some chicken here. The fireworks should be going off soon. So we're getting us started with that chicken here. Gonna get some peanut sauce on that as well. It's gonna be delicious. And for the birthday celebration here, my birthday celebration, all right, we got that dessert, bread pudding, as well as a cupcake here with a candle. I like it. Overall, fantastic meal here at Ohana. Absolutely loved all the flavors here tonight. That salad was amazing. Loved those noodles, as always, honey noodles. The chicken was amazingly well done. Really, really great sort of thick and juicy chicken here tonight, so that was fantastic. Love those sauces on the side as well, and love that shrimp as always. Really, winner overall. Fantastic time at Ohana. So glad we took the time and came over here, and I'm glad I saved room for dessert as well. Another trick that I had and I used is I used the salad bowl as kind of like my side trash plate, if you will. So I put all my empty tea bags or all of the peels of those shrimp, if you will, in that salad bowl just to save me some space on the plate. So that's just a thought. If you find that to be convenient, you can always try that. Otherwise, it was a fantastic night. So excited for all the fun adventures to come here in the future. It is another beautiful day here, and we're taking some time to enjoy this beautiful garden view. Absolutely fantastic. I love all of the sights here. You know, kind of wish I could take this view with me. So I want to take the time and be able to share this view with you as well. It's absolutely fantastic, this kind of garden view here on the first floor in the Samoa building. Really, really enjoy being able to look out at the weather, look out at the pool a little bit. You can kind of see the Grand Floridian in the background and the main building of the Polynesian. It's all really, really nice. And in front of us, we've got kind of this grassy area. You can see we've got these natural plants, if you will, and those trees sort of off in the distance as well. Not too far off in the distance, but a bit off in the distance. And we are heading out of our room at our Polynesian adventure here. It was a fantastic time. Still taking a final look at these views as we're getting ready to walk out the door here. Still coming back later today for some snacks, 
maybe some Oasis Grill, maybe some beach time. But overall, it was a fantastic adventure. Glad we had the chance to stay at the Poly for a while, enjoy the views, the relaxation of just staycationing. Really, really was a great experience. Checking out the Oasis Grill here, you can see it's right in front of that pool that we were in the other day. So maybe that's why we call it the Oasis Pool. They've got ping pong here as well with Mike. Mike's a bonus feature of the Oasis Grill. And you see we also have the menu here. So if you check that out, we've got the island favorites right there. Great choice, getting blown around a little bit by the wind. But overall, looks really, really good. I don't, I don't think we can lose here. You know? We've got uh, all kinds of great options. So we'll have to see what we're feeling. We heard the fish tacos were quite good as well. So I might try those, we'll see. Here at the Oasis Grill, we've got ourselves a couple of items. I've got these fish tacos here, and Mike has this teriyaki burger, I believe. Both of which look really, really good. We got fries as well. Looking forward to trying these flavors. Overall thoughts here at the Oasis Grill. I didn't love either of these options. The burger was okay. Fish tacos, I definitely would not get again. The burger, I probably wouldn't get again either. I'd say, you know, I, I, they were okay, but you know, Disney, I'm not looking for okay food. When I come to Disney, I'm looking for the best of the best. So overall, maybe I'll try something new at Oasis Grill, but didn't love either of these options. The fries themselves were pretty good. So I did enjoy those fries, but overall did not love fish tacos or the burger on this one but looking forward to trying something new next time and we're relaxing here by the beach you can see the fantastic views as we're taking more of this sunday afternoon to just kind of sit back and enjoy the beautiful vibes here at the polynesian definitely one of my favorite places to sit back and enjoy the weather sort of the scenery just look at all those sites it's really really nice and that concludes our staycation adventure. It was really fantastic. I feel like I enjoyed it more and more as we went along. You know, it became more and more relaxing and I appreciated more and more the staycation components and being able to just kind of kick back and relax even though we're generally so accessible and so close to Disney. Mike, what was your biggest takeaway from this trip? Biggest one was that there's so much to do at the resorts without being a guest and as being a guest. There's like two different levels. And I love that, the fact that you can really sit back and relax in the pool when you are a resort guest or just go to Ohana for dinner when you're not a resort guest. I love it. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so many great parts to it. Thanks so much for being a part of the adventure with us today. If you haven't already, for more fun, family-friendly adventures, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed. Until next time. Have a magical day. And play on. We'll see you soon. Check out our beach view here. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's an outtake. <laughs> just, just go ahead. Just